Welcome to Rubber Duck Off-Road Garage. My name is Grant, and in today's video, it's just gonna be a quick overview of what's going on. So, parts. Because of the pandemic right now, are getting pretty difficult to get. I have a bumper coming, hopefully next weekend, for the Gladiator Eco Diesel that I'll be able to put on. I finally got my fenders for the CJ7 JK build. So I got new CJ7 fenders, so I can start mocking that all up. Here's my grill that I have. The tub is over in the back buried, the hood's over there. Um, this is the old core support for the JK. I'm gonna see if I can't modify that to work with the CJ, at least the mounts for the radiator, because I'm gonna need to get my radiator mounted up. I want my radiator to kind of sit where the stock CJ radiator sat. So I am gonna have to trim this a bit, but all in all, that's okay. It looks like from just setting the fenders on the wheels, so I want my CJ grill to be like right here. And with these fenders, it looks like there'll be enough room at the back for the engine to clear the firewall because the 5.7 Hemi is a lot bigger than the six cylinder that was in it. And then there's update on the Cherokee Chief, which is Kind of funny. The people I bought it from have it advertised as a 1975. Well, it's not a 1975. I ran the VIN number. The VIN number comes back as a 79, which no big deal. I mean, they were pretty much the same from 74 like, to 83 or somewhere around there. They didn't change really until they went to the XJ. But it's no big deal. A lot of the parts are interchangeable. I mean, the taillights say 1974. So either way, it's going to work. Um, I'm going to have to get parts for that. There's a place in Montana that I'd like to go that has a bunch of wagoneers. It's like a graveyard for Jeeps, which in my opinion is heaven. But teach your own. Uh, I, I just love Jeeps, but they have Wagoneers and they have Chiefs and they have Cherokees and they have the pickups and the old Overland Willys and stuff like that. So I might have to get some parts from them. There's a couple other places I found online that sell sheet metal, like floor pans, because I'm going to need floors. If you look in here, it's pretty nasty, but you can see the hole in the floor there. I mean, it could be worse. There's some Hey, look at that. Pretty good rust spots and all that. So the rest of it's pretty nasty. But whatever. I mean, we'll make it happen. We'll see what's left of it after it's been dipped. Uh, what else? The sliders for the Gladiator that I ordered. I ordered uh, rock, or rock Slide Engineering sidestep sliders. And they're the ones that have the step that comes down out when you open your door i thought they were pretty cool they're freaking like six to eight weeks out still so who knows when they'll get here um i need to look into getting a windshield frame for the cj i need to what else do i need for the cj new window frame um i don't know eventually i might end up buying a whole new tub but i'm gonna cut up the tub that i have to mock it all up and see what it, see how it's going to work so all in all that's the plan once all the parts get here i'm going to see what i can do so if you are enjoying what i have been doing just please subscribe to the channel and we'll take you on an adventure when i get really started the weather's about to change which will help too make it a little bit cooler out here in the garage so it's not so hot during the daytime which will be nice and uh, my wife's gonna change her schedule a little bit that'll help too so I ain't gotta always be taking care of the kid which I don't care either way she's starting to get old enough where she can come out here with me which will be fun it's always nice to have a helper so if you like the channel please subscribe and stay tuned to what we have to come thanks bye